Okay. All right, cool. So we're gonna get started. All right, so my name is Jannie Copeland. I'm a triple diamond. Um, and I put this training together because I feel like there's so many things that change with social media so often. And I know I haven't done a training like this in well over a year. I know for my team, so there's so, so much that's changed um, in the last 12 months, let alone honestly in the last 12 weeks. So we're, we're just going to jump right in and I am recording. Okay, cool. Yes, I am recording. Okay. So we're just going to jump right in you guys. Um, our first, uh, distributor who is going to give us her amazing wisdom and accent tonight is Karen Sayers. She is a triple almost presidential and she's going to just kind of jump right in. Karen, why don't, I think you're unmuted. Why don't you just give us like a 60 second version, if that's possible, of your story. Um, and then we'll just kind of jump right in from there. You bet. Thanks, Jenny. Hi, everyone. Thanks for jumping on. Happy Sunday. So guys, I'm Karen Says. I am 33. I live in Edmonton. Yes, I am Australian. I've still got a little bit of an accent there. Jenny just loves it. Um, but I joined this business two and a half years ago. I was kind of stuck. I did a nutrition course. I spent $8,000 on my course. Didn't really get anywhere. And I just wanted more out of life. I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was a waitress, a bartender, working my weekends away. Never saw my husband, working until 2 a.m. I thought there's got to be more to life than this. So one of my best friends, Christina Whiteley, who will be on here, I think, she reached out to me. She had the guts and courage to ask me first. And I had no idea what the hell she was up to or what she was doing. And I just said, sure, why not? What have I got to lose? I don't know why I said that because I used to be the biggest overthinker. Um, jumped in, went Ruby in a couple of months, earned the bonus, went on a cruise and uh, I was able to retire myself within a year and it's been the biggest blessing for myself and my husband, um, the personal development that I've done. I had a fear of public speaking, you guys, so always stepping out of my comfort zone and just love the business, the best decision I've ever made. So keep going, you guys. Okay, so really quick, I have to ask, when Christina asked you um, to join, was that right in her first couple of months? Of, was she brand new still? or had she been Yes, in her first four days, she reached out to me and she was like, hey, Karen, I've, I've joined this like, like health and wellness company. I know that you've been like really interested in health and wellness and you want to use your nutrition degree. Um, would you be interested in joining me? And she's like, all you got to do is do a couple of posts a day and then you make this money. I was like, oh. <laughs> Sure. Cause I wanted, I, I joined, I was like, if I can make an extra couple hundred dollars a month. Um, and I was already buying my greens and my shake at the lo local health food store. I thought, what have I got to lose? Why not? And, uh, now every time I get my paycheck on the 15th, I literally have to pinch myself. I'm like, is this real life? So I had no, I never wanted to build a team. I was like, I do not want to train or like I just ha didn't have that mindset until I got around other leaders in the company and I just got excited I'm like how can I not share this with people so my mind mindset really shifted I just I love that because you guys Karen's almost she's getting closer to promoting to presidential diamond and her upline Christina reached out to her in the first four days of her business which we'll ask Christina about that and maybe she can um, rack her brain for what she kind of said to you and everything, because I think that's incredible and we're going to touch on that. So, okay. So give us your, your favorite tip for a brand new, let's say a brand new distributor who just started, maybe they're in their first week or their first month. Um, what's the best way to attract new distributors when you're a brand new distributor too on social media? Yeah. So first of all, like, do not wait for a kit to get started. You guys, you don't need that. Get on social media straight away and do like an announcement post. Cause if you don't share with the world what you're doing, then no one's going to have any idea. So just be excited. Do a selfie. Be like, Oh my God, guys, I've just started my own online business. Um, I want to make an extra income from home and just be excited about it. And I'm looking to help three other, um, friends to come along with me. I'm going for a thousand dollar Ruby bonus right now. Like dream big, share your goals out loud 
and you don't need to know everything. Like when I was an executive, I was shouting out that I was going diamond and I was going for this huge bonus and I had no idea how I was going to get there or what, what the diamond chart even looked like. But I would just, you know, just have that confidence, borrow your uplines confidence um, and just get to work and stay consistent. It's all about consistency with your posting. I love that. Okay, what is your favorite, um, what's your favorite um, couple of apps for social media, like picture app, it, just any, anything that's helped you along the way? Yeah, so I love, it's called Pick Tap Go. And I always use the filter, which is um, crispity. I love it so much. Um, I also use word swag. So another tip is, you know how we have those like motivational quotes. If you go to my Facebook page last night, um, before I went on a massive friend adding spree, I, um, I, did, I wrote the quote in, in word swag, uh, sorry, on my own, own filter and posted it on my wall. So I was taking the um, motivational quote and making it my own instead of like just sharing a, graphic from the internet because Facebook tends to always block, you know, really popular posts like that. So, um, create it, create it your own way. I use work swag a lot. I love it. Yeah, I use also, there's another app called beauty plus that is really, really good. Um, you can do different like, um, skin tones, acne. If you've ever had a breakout, that's been really, really good as well. Um, yeah. So I mainly use pick tap go. That's my, my number one go-to. Yeah, me too. And if you don't have an iPhone, you can't use PickTap Go. There, I believe if somebody who doesn't have an iPhone has a, um, another app to recommend, just put it in the chat because I, I use PickTap Go also. It's my jam. So, Okay, so this is something that I want to ask everybody who's on here tonight because everybody might have a little bit different um, tips for this, but it's so important is adding to our networks. So... I know for me personally, like none of us, I don't think reached um, VIP ranks just with our family and just with our friends because I don't have that much family with that much friends, but um, adding to your network, what do you do? How often is it a daily thing? Is it a every three days? How do you do it? That sort of thing. Yeah. So I started this business with probably three to 400 friends. I never use social media. I don't, didn't even know how to do a post. Um, and now I'm maxed out over 5,000 adding to your network is the first thing that I get my new distributors to do, obviously apart from like posting and, and creating that thirties list, but growing their network so they don't have to rely on their friends and family to support their business. All of my distributors, all of my customers come from random ads and we're in 23 different countries. Like, why don't you want to grow a team in the UK or down in Australia? Like it's a write off when you go travel there. Right. But, um, I love, I do three ways. So I type in a random name, like Karen Smith. And then there was like 20 Karen Smiths pop up. I click on her name. I go add 10 of her friends. I don't add her. I add 10 of her friends. And then I go to her friends list and add 10 of her friends. And I go on, so on and so on and so on. Now I've been added to tons of these groups. You guys, you all got added to these groups that someone's doing. So I go in there now and I add everyone and I leave the group. <laughs> that was a really good tip I got. And you know, those ads on Facebook, like maybe it's like a restaurant, like a steakhouse or like Maybelline mascara or there's like a cute bikini or something like that. Like an ad on Facebook. I will like that post and then I will go and see who else has liked it and then I just add everyone so I got to a stage where I got maxed out at 5,000 in the summertime and for some reason all the same people kept uh, commenting to me that I need to start deleting some people and adding fresh blood to my feed so I deleted about 800 people last month and uh, it's really nice all my ways now there's like always getting fresh blood fresh people seeing your stuff because you don't want to run out of people to talk to that's awesome okay and then a question that a lot of people ask too is when you have a new friend how long do you wait before you reach out do you start interacting right away like what is your rule what do you do yeah 
Um, I know everyone's different on this, but I usually go each night to like my recently added and I'll like comment for five minutes or so. But I really feel like I really put myself out there on social media. Like I do live at least once a day. I'm sharing who I am. There's a selfie of me. I'm sharing my love, my passions, my travel. Like so I, people, when they come to my Facebook profile, they kind of get a sense of who I am already. Like Christina Whiteley always told me, treat your Facebook like a blog. So like I started posting about the things I love, like I've got a new puppy, I'm married, I love to travel, I love to eat. I, <laughs> I love, well, my husband's cooking, I don't cook, but like I go to the gym. So I'm always sharing my daily activities. So there's no, when, when I go to post, when I go, sorry, when I go to message someone, people aren't shocked. You're like, who the hell is this girl? Because I always, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? So there's no real shock to people when I message them. Um, but I usually wait like a couple of weeks before I do, but I always message a referral anyway. So I'm always asking like, Hey, do you know anyone that wants to make extra income? Or do you know anyone that wants to do a daily detox? So, um, or sometimes I'll start commenting on my feed straight away, which is awesome. So yeah, I think if you're consistent in your post and you're really showing who you are, then it shouldn't really be an issue. Okay. Love it. Awesome. So give us one, somebody, if, if everybody could just make sure that they're muted, there's probably, I think there's like one person that's not muted. If you can just check you can get a note and somebody named Amber that's not muted. Okay. Um, if you can give us like one, um, your, your best tip for just social media in general, like something that you just cannot do your business without. Well, I think lives are just so powerful these days. I mean, when I started, we didn't have live videos for the first six or seven months. So they really changed my business. It builds rapport with your audience, um, gets to show that you're a real person. Um, you know, it goes into seven generations of your newsfeed. So you're getting more bang for your buck. It's working smarter and not harder. But, you know, be create curiosity with my, like with my post, I do attraction marketing. So I'm not going to sit there and list all the ingredients of the cleanse and the cleanse box. And I want people to think, what is she posting about? This is, I, I'm interested. And they end up coming to you or you don't want to give everything away. So I think, um, you know, be a bit more curious with your post and, and put your face out there on Facebook, show people who you are. Love it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Karen. You're welcome. We could listen to you talk for like two hours. But <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna bring Amanda on next because I know you're not feeling super great. So that way, if you wanna, um, if you need to, you know, go back, go take, go to sleep or whatever. Okay. But you guys, Amanda, Amanda, Hi. thank you so so much for rallying. I know you're not feeling that great. Um, you guys, Amanda promoted to presidential um, a few months ago and she is a top enroller. She earned a spot at the um, Pentecost ranch a couple months ago, which was what, like 20 people out of the entire company. She's incredible. Super, super inspirational. So, um, so Amanda, tell us what is the number one tip you would give for your, your new distributors, people that are brand new to the company, maybe in their first month, um, the the biggest tip for how to attract new people to their social media, like customers, distributors, both. Yeah. So I would say, um, I mean, I loved all the tips that were just given and I have very similar ones, but I think, um, definitely knowing first off that we are doing this business through social media. So that means our social media platform needs to be very professional and needs to be like, attractive and um so first i would say definitely you know um learn how to work this business you know learn do your training videos come to the team trainings like learn how to work your business um and when you are posting you do not have to know everything about this business but definitely my the biggest thing the biggest tip i would say is just ask people like get out there and just ask people so typically the very first post like i would give a new distributor wouldn't even be something about like how they just joined this business because in all reality, your, your platform, your audience, they don't really know. I mean, some of them who really know you obviously know that you just joined this business, but majority of them don't know if you just joined now or if you joined 
three months ago or six months ago or when you joined. So the very first post I say is, you know, get something that's going to get your, your first four or five customers. So I would say just do a product post. And I like to make them very simple and short and to the point. Um, so you could say something like, hey, guys, I'm looking for five people who – want to try my detox, it's going to do this, 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 and then you can either post a picture with it or just leave it like that. But it's just asking people, hey, I'm looking for five people who want to do this. So I would say, you know, the company is so amazing because they have given us like literally so many ways to right off the bat become, you know, get those wins, become successful in this business. And, um, and that's by getting your first four or five customers right when you get in. And so I would say get out there and just post about, you know, getting those customers post about, Hey, I'm looking for five people who want to grow out their hair who here on my social media wants to grow up your hair. Um, and then, so that's how I would attract um, customers, your first couple customers. Um, the other way is just posting about a product that, you know, maybe you get your kit. And I always say like, just like, um, what was just said, you don't want to wait till you get your kit. But when you do get your kit, that is such a prime opportunity to take every single one of those pictures or those products and take several pictures with it. And, um, you know, take a picture with, your keto energy stick and just be like, you know, like, oh my gosh, like this just gave me like tons of energy or this is going to help me focus and give me energy. And, um, that's lasting throughout the day without any crashing, you know, um, just, it's all about just promoting and advertising. Um, and you don't want to be salesy, but you definitely want to promote and advertise and ask. Um, and then as far as distributors, like, you know, we all start, right, you know, buying that kit and not having a success story. We all start just hoping and praying that this business is going to work for us. And so, um, you know, my biggest tip about, you know, getting distributors, this is such an amazing time that, you know, whether you've been in this business for a little bit or you've been in this business, you just got in this business this month or last month, like November, like just what Mike said, like it is an amazing, amazing month just to skyrocket your business. And so, Maybe you don't quite have a success story yet, and that is totally okay. Just remember, like, we all start just getting our kits. So post about what you want out of this business, okay? Post about, like, you know, how excited you are that you just joined something that's going to allow you to make another stream of income. You know, post about how you just joined something that's going to help you pay for Christmas because do you know how many people want to, like, need money for Christmas? Um, post about, you know, um, your goals, you know, we are all after, like our goal is, you know, to get that $500, um, paycheck, right. To get to Ruby, to get that thousand dollar bonus, that $500 paycheck. So post about that. Even if you just started today, post about how excited you are that you just started something that's going to allow you to start making an extra $500 extra a month. Um, because the thing is, is that people don't know how far or how close you are to your goals. But if you have that confidence, if you have that excitement, that is all it takes for people to be like, whoa, what is Amanda doing? Like, I need to make $500 extra a month. And she's super excited about making this. You know, they're going to fall into the idea of, you know, me being excited about it and me showing confidence about it. And um, so post about that. And they don't have to know how far or how close you are. But shout out, you know, to your entire social media, like, what your goals are, what do you want out of this business? Um, the other thing is, you know, use other people's success stories. Um, you know, post about how, you know, I post about my weekly bonuses every single week. So take one of those and you can say, holy smokes, like I'm super excited. Like I'm going to be making a weekly bonus just like, you know, Gianni or just like, you know, so you can take other people's success stories and put them on there and say, wow, like this is such an inspiration. Like, I'm so glad I'm doing something that's going to allow me to, you know, be home with my kids or make this extra money. Um, so definitely, you know, utilize other people's success stories. It doesn't have to be your own um, until you create your own. But I love that, you know, I think that people are going to buy into us before they buy into becoming, you know, an It Works distributor, before they come into buying our products. So post about how excited you are. Post about, you know, um, even though you don't have confidence, you can fake it on social media very well. So just pretend like 
you have all the confidence in the world and that you are going to, you know, get that $500 Ruby bonus. Because I will tell you, your social media, they will buy into your confidence. They will buy into you and they'll be watching you. They're going to be following you. So those are just some of my tips. Just be yourself, you know? Um, and the other thing is, you know, we have like, if you're not quite sure what to post, um, you know, there's so many leaders on this team who have been in it for a while. And so you can go to their page. And if you see something like, wow, like I really like Johnny's post, like that was awesome. You can save it and then you can post it, you know, change it up so that it fits to you. But it's something that will give you an idea. You know, if you're like, man, I don't know what to post today, use, you know, somebody else's post but just change it, you know, and edit it so that it fits you because you don't want to copy and paste the same post that somebody has, but definitely use other people's posts for inspiration and, you know, to help you know on what to post. Okay. Awesome. And then what, um, I know you are, in my opinion, one of the like, you know, I guess original host of posters, at least I think of you that way. Um, so for host to post, when someone posts for you on their page, what is your biggest tip for having that be successful? So, um, consistency is just so key. Um, I started doing host to post, I want to say around like this time last year, and it was so crazy how it just blew up my business. Um, and it's not like when I first started doing a host to post, I all of a sudden got like a million customers or I all of a sudden got all these people who were doing a host to post. But what it is, is that everything we do today, it's going to trickle into tomorrow to next week, to next month, to next, you know, six months from now and so on. And so, um, Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm not even making sense. Um, but so whatever we do, you guys, you just want to be consistent about it. So if you are just like getting into host to post and you're like, man, this isn't really working for me, you just have to give it time because that's truly what it takes. But um, so host to post, I, you know, the biggest thing I think is, you know, having somebody you know, it's just the amount. So if you think of it as a numbers game, if you have two people make a host, you know, make a post for you each day, um, you're probably not going to have too much response after that, you know, but if you get like five people, if you ask five people to host a post for you, I guarantee you're going to have massive results for that. And then if you do that every single day, just think of all of that that trickles on to that next day. Okay. And so I started host to post in November of last year and I didn't get too much from it, but guess what? In December, I got like 98 customers just because I was consistent with my host to post every single day. And it became like a game. Like it's actually really fun. Like if you think of it, like, oh my gosh, like, okay, you can kind of play around with it. Like if you get two hosts to post out, just know you're probably not going to get too much interaction from that. But if you get like five or six or seven, you're going to see massive amounts of people. And I love host to post because it kills two birds with one stone. You're not only growing your network because you're having somebody post on their social media. So now all of their friends are attracted to that post. Okay. You're getting all kinds of potentials. So not only are you adding those people to your network, you're growing your network, but now you just have a massive amount of new potentials on your list. Um, and so it really does just take consistency. Host to post do not happen overnight. Um, and it doesn't happen if you do it sporadically, but if you do it consistently, you will see massive results. Um, and so every single month, you know, I make sure like I get my numbers out. I make sure I get my amount of host to post out and it averages me, you know, the same amount of customers every single month. Um, and I'll tell you, I've kind of played around with it. The, when I don't get as many out, guess what? My numbers are less. So it's, if you just think of it as a numbers game and think of it as a game, because it's so fun. If you think of it as a numbers game, the more people you have post to post for you, the more people you're going to get. Um, and then, so some of the posts that I have them, I don't play around with different products or anything like that. I literally post about, have them post about three different things. It's either going to be my detox cleanse, my, um, the keto coffee, or it's going to be a general weight loss one because my other tip for host to post is that 
you know, you can have, say, five people host a post for you, all for the detox cleanse. And that's going to get you a lot of potentials. And those potentials are going to turn into loyal customers or even distributors. But what I love about doing those three is that it's very easy to upsell. So whenever I have somebody host a post for me um, and they, you know, um, and then I'm talking to them, I say, okay, hey, are you interested in my detox cleanse? And they say, yes. And I say, okay, awesome. Are you wanting to lose more weight or just having a really good detox cleanse? If they say a really good detox cleanse, then I just say, okay, awesome. Here, here's, what, here's what it's about. Here's what it costs. If they say I want to lose 15, 20 pounds, I say, awesome. Okay, let's get you on the detox cleanse. But to give you your best results, I'm also going to recommend you getting on these two or three different products. Sound good? And it's a really easy for me to upsell my detox cleanse, my coffee, or even the weight loss ones. So that's kind of what I do. I stick with the weight, the those kind of post to post. I love it. I love it. Okay, and just tell everybody, just because I know you won't say it, but how many? What's your average loyal customer and signups every month? Um, I average about seventy to my highest month was when I went presidential and it was one hundred and nineteen. So I'm still every month trying to get that 119. <laughs> or trying to get 120. Yeah, 120. Yes, 120. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it too because a lot of times you guys, I will ask every single, if I have a person who even has like three comments on it, I always ask that post to post if they are interested in making it in some extra money. And they may say no, but the thing is you guys, you just put that thought into their mind and so now I now have a potential distributor who just hosted a post for me. So let's just say I have 10 people host a post for me at, you know, each day. That's 10 potential distributors I just have, you know. Um, and then the other thing, don't get discouraged if you have a couple people host a post for you and they don't get anything. You have to also look at who is hosting a post for you. If you have somebody host a post and they have like 70 people on their, their network, they're probably not going to get too much interaction. So you just kind of have to be mindful of that too. And also just give yourself grace when you're first starting out, you know, you're, you're it's not, you're not going to get massive amounts of customers, but you know, if you do it consistently one month, you are going to see huge results the next month. Totally. And you guys, I have to say too, with host to host, it's just what she said. Sometimes you can post um, or you can have somebody post for you and you get nothing. And then the next person posts for you, you get nothing. Um, and then I had yesterday, one of my posts got almost 40 comments and she didn't even have that, you know, you know, necessarily that huge of an audience, but it's just a numbers game. It was like the little gold nugget out of the day. So if you really do make it about how many people you get every day to post for you, um, you know, it's for me, it's not about the four people who didn't get a lot of hits or the two people who said, yes, I'll post for you, but then they didn't really, or they forgot. It's about the lady who got 39 comments and I'm still talking to a ton of people from that one post. So it's, it's pretty magical, honestly. And it has a lot of things about our businesses. So um, oh, Amanda, really quick. What group of, um, Sarah's asking, what group of products do you do for your general weight loss one? What is your, what is your recommendation for most people? Um, it all depends. I always ask them how much weight they want to, I ask them two questions, how much weight they want to lose and do they drink coffee? Um, and, um, and I'll tell you guys just really quick, all of my customers last month, they were all like 62. I think my highest one was like 250 BB all from like detox cleanse or keto coffee ones. I, all, I upsell all of them. Um, but I ask them, and that's because you have to ask you guys, you just have to ask. If you just give them the cleanse, that's all they're going to get. But remember, we have to, oh, is this going to end? No, I got it changed. Okay. We have to remember that we are in this business to serve other people, right? So we want them to have the best ultimate results. And if we are, we're, we're doing them a disservice when, if they want to lose 20 pounds and we're just offering them the detox cleanse. So we really want to serve them and have them have the best products for them. So then they become lifers with us. They become, you know, they love these products. They have results with these products. Um, but I will ask them how much weight they want to lose. And I ask them, do they drink coffee? If they don't drink coffee, um, then I'll say, okay, um, you know, do you, you know, do you eat, do you eat breakfast? And if they're like, yeah, but I'm like kind of fast with it, then I, 
I, it, it all depends really on the person, but I'll typically offer them like the cleanse, fat fighters, um, thermal fit, or like the cleanse, greens, fat fighters. I like that one. If they like coffee, I love doing the, the, um, the coffee, the greens, and then fat fighters. I love doing that um, duo. If they have a hard time eating breakfast or lunch, I always have them do the shake. And I don't ask them, you guys. I tell them. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to recommend you to give you the best ultimate results you want. And for some reason, when you're like, this is what I recommend you so that you see results, they're like, okay, these are the products I need to be on. You are their expert. You are there, you know, and so when you just say, this is what I am going to recommend you so that you have your ultimate results, they are going to follow that. They're going to want that. Um, and then if they're like, you know, I just really can't afford that, then I say, okay, what's your budget? And then if they're like, oh, like 50 bucks, then I'll say, okay, let's get you on the detox cleanse and um, some fat fighters or, you know, I try to get it in with their budget. Um, and so sometimes it's a little bit over, but I'm like, this is going to, what's going to be best for you to see like that, you know, the results that you're wanting for your first month. Um, and so, so it, it really just depends, but I do love the, the greens, the keto coffee, and then the fat fighters. And then I love the triple threat too, which is the fat fighters, the greens, and then the thermal fit. Um, and then I try to throw in that shake in there too, just for the, ha the healthy meal. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. I do have one more thing I wanted to say really quick. I was looking at um, one of my girls asked me to take a picture of my dream board. And so I did. And she's on here right now. But something stood out to me on it. And I'm like, I just feel like this is just so key, especially at this time, even though it's for my dream board. But it says um, the best resolution of all may be the decision to commit yourself 100%. Be consistent in your efforts and give yourself the time you need to make any resolution a reality. And I was just looking at that because, you know, we brought on so many people onto this team, so many new people. And it's very, we're very quick as humans to be like, you know what, that's not working for me. Or you know what, like I'm not getting the results I want. Um, and so I love that because you know what, we just want to commit to ourselves. We got into this business for a reason and that's to make another stream of income. And so we want to commit to that. We want to commit to ourselves and to this business that we're going to give this business at least six months to a year to commit to ourselves 100%. Um, and, you know, and then also give ourselves grace. Like, you know, we might not get to our goals or we might not get those first five customers in our first, like, week and we see other people doing that but give ourselves like some grace give yourself some grace that knowing that if you are consistent and you do commit that you will be successful in this and so i just thought that i don't know it just spoke to me and i just thought it would be so great um for new people to hear that that this is a business it takes time and it takes learning and you do have to give yourself grace to you know to become successful in this business i love that will you send me that amanda Sure, I'll take a picture of it. Okay. It's right here. <laughs> I ripped it off my dream board. <laughs> no, I totally love it. You do. And Sarah just wrote, you have to have a year mindset. I remember when I first joined, the first time I heard a top leader say, give this business a year, give it a year. Um, and you do have to give it a year, but not just a year of being technically enrolled in the system, right? You have to give it a year of learning, growing, getting yourself a little bit or a lot uncomfortable. I promise you guys, if you get uncomfortable on a daily basis and then you let a year go by, like, holy crap. <laughs> Incredible things really will happen. Um, I wanna talk about a few points and then um, I have another person to pass it off to, but there's just a little bit of just basic housekeeping stuff, you guys, that. I want to talk about, especially because there's a lot of new people and we're recording this. So um, a lot of people, you know, we come into this business, we don't know how to work social media to make money, right? We post, me, when I joined, I had maybe 250 friends and I posted when my kids did something cute. Maybe if I saw a funny meme, I would share it. And that was Facebook, right? And then I joined It Works. And then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, now I've got to figure out stuff to post every day. And it's a little daunting and it's like, oh my gosh, what do I post? Here's the thing, like um, I think it was Amanda or maybe Karen that said, find a few leaders that you, you know, 
want to, you want to be where they're at. You want to have the income that they have, or you want to be the rank that they are, or maybe you just like their style and you can ask your upline for help with this. Find a few people and follow them. And when you see a post that you like, you can save a post. I have probably 50 posts right now saved. So at any given time, um, when you see someone's post in your newsfeed, I don't even know if this is going to work because it's always so like, right. So let's say this person is and it is awesome and I love her and I want to save her post. You just literally click these little, the top right corner and you can click save post and that will go into your save post. So I don't ever um, just put up someone's post word for word, but it gives you something to go off of. Um, you know, you, I still do that. You know, I'll pick somebody's post. Maybe it's Amanda's post and I love the way she worded her business post. So I've saved her post. And then I like the way she had a really cute picture of her kid at the park. And I don't obviously do the exact same thing, but it, it gives me an idea. I'm like, okay, I could take a cute picture of my kid with strawberry ice cream dripping down her face, but it's one o'clock in the afternoon. And normally my old me would be at work right now. So I can take that picture and I have a, maybe I have Amanda's post that I love the way she worded it. And I personally, I'll get inspired by the way somebody put their post together, but I rewrite it. I change it. I take sentences out and I add my sentences in and I make it mine, but I'm not super creative every day. I don't feel creative juices flowing every day. So I save posts all the time. You guys, when I was new, I saved, actually, I don't think we had the ability to save posts. It was more like you'd screenshot stuff and, you know, old school, but I got ideas from other people all the time. It's okay to copy someone's ideas if they're where you want to be, but you don't, yeah, you don't want to copy word for word. You can copy their idea and make it yours. If you just started a month ago, take their idea and make it yours, or you can take their post copy it and say, this is one of the reasons I joined this company is because of inspirational stories like this. And then put it, put their post in parentheses and don't use the person's first and last name. If it's Sarah um, McKinnon's post, then put Sarah, this is, she's so inspirational. And I'm, this is one, just one reason why I joined this company is because I can't wait to have a story like this. And then you take Maybe you do take her picture and her post, but you, you know, you're, you're telling someone else's story and that's okay. I posted other people's stories for probably, I don't know, a year until one day I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like, I feel like I have a story now, like a real story. Um, and you all have a story. I don't, I mean, I don't care if you're a weekend. I don't care if you're two weeks in, you have a story. If you made a, a little bit of extra money and you could buy yourself something cute at Target that you couldn't afford before it works, that's a story. Um, if you can take your kids to get a Frappuccino after school because you have a little bit extra money that you just made, tell that story because it's relatable. You know, I can post however often I want to like, Oh, five figures a month. Oh, six figures a year. We made a hundred grand in 2016 and 2017, blah, blah, blah. I, and I do, but it's not as relatable as when you're in month one and you sell a five pack of keto coffee and you just need 20 bucks or $25 and you can take your kids to get them a Frappuccino after school with your extra money that you didn't have last week. And you can take a picture of your adorable kids with a little whipped cream on their face, put it through a little bit of a filter and brighten it, which we're going to talk about that. And that is an awesome, awesome post that people will relate to. And it's something that, you know, I know what you guys are thinking when you're new, you're like, I'm not making five grand a month. I'm not making 10 grand a month. It does not matter. And I know Sarah will back me up and Amanda will back me up on this and Karen, like, I feel like the first six months of my business, for me, I feel like it was easier to sign new team members than it is now. And I swear to you guys, it's because my posts back then were probably more relatable. People don't, they can see that you make six figures or you make this, you make that. Most of them don't believe it or they think good for you, but 
that's not relatable. That's not achievable. That's not um, doable for me. But the coffee mug at Target for eight bucks or the little weekend getaway or the gas tank that you were able to pay for or the grocery trip that you were able to pay for because you're at works commission, that is relatable and people will join you because you're excited and you're telling that story. So if you're new or if you're not new, go back to the basics and tell your story and then tell other people's stories too. But in my opinion, at least two times a week, minimum, you should be telling a story about this business and what it can do for your income. So that's kind of my two cents on that. Um, the other thing I want to say really quick is as far as giving your page, a give your page a five minute makeover, you guys, it literally takes five minutes. And this is a lot of this is for the new people and some people that have maybe been in for a while, but go to your page. Oh my goodness. <laughs> go to your page. And first of all, really quickly, this is just some basic stuff, but a lot of people are um, newer and still not newer. And I see a lot of people that maybe aren't, aren't getting this quite yet, but your profile picture should be you. It should be a clear, crisp, bright picture of you. It could be you and your kids. In my opinion, a picture of you with your family, maybe that would be, um, that would be better for like the background picture here, but the profile picture, because we're going to talk about adding to your network and adding friends when someone sees who's adding me, who's this person, it's only this big. You got to remember. So if it's a picture of you with six kids, they're not seeing you. They're just seeing this like muted picture of people, your profile picture. It's your page. It's not your kid's page. It's not your husband's page. Um, it's your page and it should be a picture of you, a bright, clear, crisp image of you. Um, your background picture could be, you know, mine says unstoppable. It's a cute little, you know, picture. It should not say it works. It should not say um, crazy rap girl, coffee. Um, I sell keto coffee. <laughs> it shouldn't say anything um, really branded to your business because your page is you. You are your brand. It works, pays a lot of amazing professional people to create their brand, but you are you and you are your brand. So make sure your page reflects you. Um, and then your, the first pictures that people see, um, I, you know, I like to have just a bunch of pictures of like me, my kids having fun. Like you don't want that to be full of business pictures. You don't want that to be, um, it works branded stuff. You don't want it to say like, uh, anything promotional materials, deals that we've had going on, pictures that the business has put out. When you're adding to your network, and this is 100% true, when you're adding new people to your network, they will take about four seconds to decide if they're going to accept you. And if it says it works, keto coffee is my life, all this stuff, it works in your background. If it works is anywhere in your profile name, um, if there's a bunch of like, green, black, bling, it works pictures in here. They are just going to think, oh, this girl's just adding me to sell me stuff and they won't accept you. So you want your page to be bright, crisp, clear, um, fun, and you want it to reflect you. So that's, um, yes. And like Amanda just said, think of five things you're passionate about, things you love, and that's what you want to express. It's like your brand. Um, so if you're super into working out or fitness or, you know, for instance, in your description right here. Okay. So you can pick a certain amount of characters for your description. Mine says God, family, karaoke, champagne. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, Route 91 survivor. So like the things that reflect who you are, I don't know if that's showing up. It's really, always really weird and bright, but anyways. Um, the things that reflect you notice how it doesn't mine personally does not say entrepreneur. Um, it works. It doesn't say anything about my company. It doesn't say anything like that because when someone is going to follow me or accept my friend request, usually they're going to go like do the little four second scroll. And when they do the four second scroll, because I do it, um, they're going to decide pretty quickly. And I decide pretty quickly. I'm like, oh, this girl's with whoever. Eh, no, her page is all full of, you know, makeup or whatever, mascara. No. 
So um, anyways, so that's my thing on that. Okay, so I'm going to introduce you guys to Christina. I think you're, you just said you're back. Christina Whiteley is um, a presidential diamond from Canada. She is freaking awesome. She also has um, one of my favorite accents. <laughs> I mean, Karen's probably my favorite accent. Like, no offense, you're probably my favorite accent. I'll, I'll play second fiddle to Karen yet again. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just glad she's on my team. I know, right? You're <laughs> How's it going, babe? Going good. So, so give everybody like your little 60 second story because I love your story and it's incredible. Okay. So sorry, I've been on and off. I am sleep training a baby, um, which is not fun in toddler bed and my dog ate some sort of magic mushroom. So life is good. Um, my name is Christina Whiteley. Uh, I am 34, almost 35. Oh God. And, uh, I live up in Canada. I've known Karen for 10 years. Um, I got into this business about two and a half years ago. Uh, I was a salon owner, a hairstylist. Um, I owned an onsite wedding business, but I had my daughter and I didn't want to work evenings and weekends anymore. Much like Janny, uh, we were working way too hard for the kind of money we were bringing home. And it's hard on your body. I had a really bad shoulder injury late into my pregnancy and couldn't continue working. So um, I decided that I was going to give this a shot. And I knew uh, Jenny's friend Marina um, from years and years and years and years and years ago. And I saw her success story. And I called her over when I had a three week old baby. I had seen. Uh, pictures of the wraps. I'd seen people be successful, but I didn't know much about the company. And I kind of rolled my eyes in the beginning, like really skinny wraps. Like I work out, I eat really well. I don't need to like, that's such a like crazy thing. I didn't even believe it. But then I had a baby and I was like, give me those skinny wraps. Like, come on. So, um, I got the, I got the wraps and had incredible results with the greens and the defining gel and the wraps. Like I was back to my pre baby body six weeks after having a baby. And I was like, I am telling everybody about this. So I did. And, um, very quickly, I grew this business. I, I, I recognized the opportunity in front of me and, re and realized that this could be my ticket out of going back to work. Um, within six months, I went double diamond and my husband was diamond and we got to, I closed down the salon and, and got to be at home full time and do this full time, which I didn't even think that when I started again, I'd said no to this business multiple times and then saw Marina succeed in a year. And I was like, I, if she can do it, I can do it. Like, why not me? Right? So, um, six months in, close the salon down at my year mark, I went triple diamond and earned a $50,000 bonus and uh, was able to retire my husband uh, so he could come home and stay, be at home, stay at home dad. And now we sold our house in the city and we live out in the country and, and uh, are at home with our two dogs, one of which is high as a kite right now. Um, and, uh, and, a, and a baby and life is so, so, so good. And I get to meet people like Janny and, and, uh, and do this business and I have never been happier. I know. I'm so excited to have you on here. I remember when we met, it was on the cruise in the mm -hmm. Bahamas or somewhere over the Pacific or Atlantic ocean. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. Fun. Yeah. I bet you. Yeah. Because Marine, like I was so new and I didn't even like, I didn't know anybody. I remember meeting you and Kelsey Ullum and Chelsea Gerster and Christina Watts. And I was like, what is happening? Like, these are just regular people but that are killing it. You had just gone diamond and gotten a huge bonus, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just gone diamond at that point. And, or I think it was double and my and Ryan was diamond. So I think maybe Karen just went diamond. She got way bigger bonus. I'm, I'm the one that always misses the bonuses. I'm the one that like, Oh, 24 hours later, there's a $25,000 bonus. You're so lucky. <laughs> uh, so I'm always the person that's like, Oh yeah, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, I know your jam is live videos. So why don't you just take it away and talk about lay videos and what they've done for your business and just any wisdom nuggets you have. Sure. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, some of you guys may be on here and being like, yeah, live videos, really? It's the best business building tool we have. I'm just going to be totally honest with you. It's got a bigger reach. It shows who you are and it's a, the best way that you can provide value to your audience. Now I've done a lot of tweaking over the last little while and I really try and do a live video a day. If you were somebody that kind of shies away from them, 
I highly recommend that after you watch the Zoom starting tomorrow morning, you do a 30 day challenge and do a live video every single day. Um, you know, that will really get you out of your comfort zone. You don't have to do it on yourself. You can do it on your pet, on your kid, on a bird. I don't care, but just do it on something so that you get used to doing live videos and speaking. Um, I had somebody, you know, I can come on here unprepared and talk <laughs> for Danny, um, but I didn't used to be able to do that. That's totally a lie. I have notes. Um, but you know, like I, I, I didn't used to be able to come on and do a live video and just turn it on and go. Okay. I literally had somebody a couple months ago come to me, a loyal customer actually, and said, Oh, I just caught one of your live videos. It's really great. I was, you know, I'm so happy to see that you've improved because back, back when you first started, I wasn't sure you were going to make it. And I'm like, <laughs> legit that, like oh thank you for your feedback but I'm so happy that you're still watching um so we didn't all start off awesome we didn't all start off being able to talk about stuff easily so if you get out of your comfort zone and make yourself do it this is just a really great life skill that you can do and 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 boost your business now here's the thing when you are doing live videos provide valuable content what you want to think of is um, who do I want to attract to the business and what would keep them coming back to my page? What would, whether it's giveaways or it's um, you know, healthy eating tips or like whatever your background is. Now, I had a really hard time because I didn't want to showcase, I didn't really want to do hair videos. Like I just, I just didn't, I wasn't passionate about it. I wanted to find something that I was really passionate about and I couldn't figure out what my niche was until I sat down and thought about what, my, what I wanted my demographic to be. Okay. So at first I thought, well, it's easy. I attract moms or like anybody join my team. No. Okay. Because when you have put that vibe out, anybody is going to join your team. But when you actually focus and think about who you want to join your team. So I sat down and I thought, do I really, I like working with moms, but I like working with moms that have a business sense. I actually really want to work with female entrepreneurs because they get it. They get that, that it takes money to make money. They get the ebbs and the flows of business. They can actually put in the time and realize the value that they have in front of them. And I don't have to convince them of anything. So that's why I wanted to appeal to female entrepreneurs. So what do I do in my live videos? Videos that provide value for female entrepreneurs. Um, I did a video a couple of weeks ago about like um, the five things or things that you should look for in a network marketing company. Didn't mention the name of ours, but said, if you were going to join our certain online business, these are the things that you should look for. If you have any questions about what I'm doing, send me a private message. So I always at the end of the video do a call to action. Hey, if you know somebody that, uh, that could use this video, or if you find it valuable, take a friend or share it and always a call to action at the end of the video. I don't sell stuff though. I'm not like, Hey, here's my keto coffee. Buy my keto coffee. Hey, have you seen my keto coffee? Buy my keto coffee. I don't do that. What I'll do instead is, Hey, I've been drinking this, uh, fat burning coffee and I like maybe do a demo, but not even show the package. I'll just say, yep, yeah, this is it. Super easy. This, these are the benefits. Or I'll say, Hey, do you know anything about the ketogenic diet? Yeah. I drink my like skinny coffee first thing in the morning. Then I eat high healthy fats during the day and I provide value. So I want those people to keep coming back. Um, so I'm going to give you the secret sauce to live videos. Okay. The secret sauce is that before you do a live video, you go and you engage with people. So spend 10 to 15 minutes commenting um, and posting and like going into groups, creating interaction, whatever you got to do for 10 to 15 minutes before a live video. Okay. That's going to bring your interaction up. Then you are going to provide value without selling. So think of a topic. Maybe you want to do like the five uh, best foods to eat to lose weight or why drinking water is healthy uh, or like the health benefits of drinking water. Um, for me, I like talking about business. So I'm like, here's a real like Sunday, Sunday night huddle for my, for my mom bosses. Here are some tips that'll help you keep you organized during the, their week to help you uh, grow your business. Um, talk, you know, those are the kind of things that I'm focusing on to give um, value. So other things, talk about your family, talk about why you join this business, talk about that over and over and over again, because you're always going to have people that maybe weren't listening the first time, but are ready to hear it now, six months later, talk about how much fun you're having, whether you like to travel or, or, uh, you're active and you like hiking or, you know, bring your, uh, love of, your hobbies into your everyday life and show people who you are. I'm quite vulnerable on my live videos because I want people to know who I am, that I'm not just some other person out there like 
basically trying to get them to buy stuff. I want to show them why I can provide, why I can provide a solution to their problem, whether it's weight loss, healthy living, uh, or financially, what can I do for them? Um, so after you've done your video and like when you start your video, make sure that when people are coming in, you're like, Hey, Jenny, Hey, Sarah, Hey, Jessica, Hey, Karen, and interact with people, you know, talk to them. And, and when things come up in your video, like my daughter comes in or my dog's barfing in the corner, like re just totally react to it. And like, don't pretend that it's not happening. Just be like, Oh yeah, my dog's just barfing in the corner. It's not a big deal. Um, because when people see your everyday real life, they can actually relate to you and they, and they would be weirded out if you didn't address that your kid is screaming in your face or, you know, whatever, Jaddy, I love, she drinks wine in the closet and that's a great place to drink wine. So, right. I need one of those so bad right now. Um, so make sure that you're interacting at, provide value. So here's what I'm going to show you. Tell them recap and then at the end say thank you so much for, wa for watching here's your call to action okay after here's the big thing here's like okay guys seriously you are wasting time on your live videos if you don't go back and comment on every single person that has commented on your live video and go back and interact with every person that has liked your video. So go onto their page and interact with them if they've been on your live video, okay? Because you're gonna start getting more exposure for those reasons. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kinda what I wanna say is like make sure that you're providing value so that people keep coming back, right? I love it, yeah. And what, what, do you, what would you say about the titles? Do you notice that the titles, do you sometimes not title them at all? Like when you, the titles for me seem to make a big deal. Yeah, I, I don't, I, if I don't title them, I find that I don't get as much interaction or I don't get people watching as much. So I title them with something really intriguing. So something that's gonna, okay, here's the deal. Everybody has really, really busy lives, right? They're scrolling through Facebook. They got to go pick their kids up at swimming. Their dogs are eating magic mushrooms. Like life is crazy, okay? So, and by the way, they're in my yard, not in my house. I better say that while I'm on this video. In my yard, we live in the country. Like, I'm in your oh, house. That's all oh my God. Okay. So I didn't poison my dog. So, um, you know, when you're, when you're, doing a, a title on your video, make sure that that title is going to be something that stops people from in their tracks when crazy life is going on and they're scrolling through Facebook for 30 seconds. What is going to stop somebody to make them watch your video? What's going to be like, Oh, she's giving me tips on how to talk, like train my toddler going to sleep at night. Yeah. I'm going to stop and listen to that. Right. Or here's, here's like an essential oil or something that you can use at, for helping your, sleep, your kids go to sleep at night. If your demographic is a mom, make it valuable and make it that something like give it a title that somebody is going to actually stop and say, I need to watch this, or I need to give it at least 30 seconds to see if I should watch it. Yeah. Totally. One of my favorites is, well, this just happened, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that might be the title of my next one as soon as I'm off this Zoom. <laughs> yeah. Because they're like, okay, all right. Uh, so you're going to, and then you're going to go get off the Zoom and see the messages that I sent you. It'll be fine. <laughs> totally. Um, okay. So really quick, what is your best tip for adding to your network? And do you agree that it is the lifeblood of, yes. would you be where you are if you had just gone off of your family and friends? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Um, and, and the thing is it takes a bit of a mindset shift to be like, ah, Facebook, my friends and family, those are, that's, these are my people to, Hey guys, free network marketing platform that you can use with 500 million users a day. You will never run out of potentials. No, no, like no one on this Zoom will run out of potentials. There's so much room for growth. And if you're not going out and talking to 10 people, you better be adding to your network. So it's absolutely crucial. Um, I, because I have a crying toddler and crazy dogs, I didn't hear what Karen said about adding to your network. So stop me if, if she said something that I've said, but when I, she'll laugh, but one of my favorite tips is I find like a really hot dude not kidding guys found a really really hot dude and he's always got like 400 like 4,899 friends that are all hot women like always so I don't friend him that's weird and creepy I like take a screenshot of his profile totally creepy even more creepy actually and then I know I can just go back and add a hundred people like 
you know, at multiple times during the day, I'm like, okay, that's his name. That's his profile. Cause I don't remember this guy. It's just hot. And then I go through and I add all of his friends, like all of his female, beautiful friends. And, and I think it's so easy when you find people that have like 5,000 friends and you can go through in their, in your demographic, you just screenshot that profile, save it in your phone. So you can keep going back and, and like add all 5,000. I don't care. I love it. And you guys realize, oh my gosh, Amanda said I do that too. Yes. That is so funny. Um, and for those of you guys that are listening, or maybe you just started adding, or maybe you haven't yet. And you're like, it just feels awkward. It's, normal. It should feel awkward. Before you started using your social media platform to make extra money, you didn't have a reason to add. I went out of my way to not have people on my page if I didn't know them. So of course it's going to feel a little awkward. Of course it's going to feel a little bit normal or abnormal. Remember how I said, if you take a year and you make yourself purposely, you know, uncomfortable, you're yeah. going to be dramatically amazed in a year. So this is one of those ways. Um, it doesn't feel weird for me anymore. It's like normal. I go and I go lay down in bed and getting ready. I plug in my phone. And the last thing I do before I go to sleep, I'm like unfriending people that are like negative Nancy's or just have, you know, whatever. I just unfriend. And then I go and add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend. And here's a huge tip for when you're adding friends. If you go on a little friend adding spree, you definitely do not want the last three posts on your page to be about keto coffee or greens or your business. Um, and a little trick you can also do you guys on your page, let's say you just did post about keto coffee, or maybe you did a live video about the business and then you go and add 40 people before you go to bed. You can take that last post and you can change the privacy setting to only your friends or only you. So that when someone's taken that five seconds to decide if they're going to accept you, they're not going to see your page and say, oh, she's selling stuff. Um, me personally, I'll put a really funny meme or a picture of my kids or something funny with my dog or just whatever. And I'll make sure the last couple posts are just funny, something about me. And then I go and add people and I get a lot more people um, to accept me. So that's just, yeah. And if um, this always gets asked, if somebody says, do I know you? Um, I love this one. For me, I just say, oh, Facebook's requested you several times. So I finally clicked add. Oh, that's way better than what I do. I just ignore them. No, oh. <laughs> no, no. Cause for me, some of them have been like, oh, okay. Ha, ha, and they like accept me and then, you know, whatever. Um, I just use my charm on my Facebook page. And I'm like, meh, if you don't like me. <laughs> no, no, I love that. I love that. That's great, Jenny. Well, and here's the thing though, for you, newer people, I don't want you guys to think that that's true. Like don't add from your suggested Facebook list. <laughs> the worst place to add from. In fact, that's one of the don'ts on social media. You do not want to take Facebook's suggested list because number one, if you're an ItWorks distributor, you probably have about a hundred other ItWorks distributor friends by now. And Facebook is going to suggest everyone's friends to you. So it's actually the worst place to add friends from. However, when someone says, do I know you or who the hell are you or whatever, <laughs> um, they, they get suggested people too. So it's the most accepted, like, oh yeah, okay, well that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> and they either accept you or they don't. But um, I've had people before say, oh yeah, I'm adding to my friends list because I just started a business. Like, no, <laughs> pretty much the worst thing you could ever say. So don't, don't say that. Um, yeah. So I love that. But yeah, you guys adding to your network is so, so important. I had less than 300 friends when I started, like I said, I didn't use my page for anything other than posting pictures once a month or twice a month when my kids did something funny, that was all I used Facebook for. So I knew nothing about growing a business or anything. If I didn't start adding people immediately, I would have buried my business long ago. Um, yes, we all signed some friends, sometimes family, sometimes not. Like my family was actually the last personally. It took my sisters over two years to join. Like my parent, you know what I mean? It, for me, it wasn't family, it was friends. But, um, but none of us get to a high level of income because of our family and friends. You just don't. So a lot of times people get frustrated and fizzle because they're like, well, all my friends and all my family, like, either said no or it ordered. So now what, 
Well, it's network marketing. You have to get out there. You have to add to your network. And like Christina said, if you're not asking 10 people a day in person, then you better be asking 10 people a day on social media because it's a numbers game. And I'd much rather ask them on social media because I get to wear my old Navy drawstring shorts and sit on the couch with a cup of champagne. So for me, Jenny, do you mind if I like, cause one of the things that I think that a lot of newbies, they, they don't, um, they don't like, they hear it's a numbers game, but they don't actually know statistics. So sometimes I like to just break it down to like, okay, if you send a hundred messages, 80 people are not going to respond to you. And that is so normal. 10 people are going to say no, but out of those 10 people, 50% of them are going to come back in the next six months and order from you. Out of the last 10 people, out of that hundred people, the last 10 people, eight of them are going to ask for more information and are going to sign up within 60 to 90 days. So you're planting seeds today for 60 to 90 days from now. And two are going to order within the week out of the hundred people. So if you are somebody that is messaging a hundred people a day, that's how quickly your business is going to grow versus somebody that is asking 10 people a day or 20 people a day or a hundred people a month. So you set the pace for your business and no matter how many, you know, messages you send, those are the statistics. So you decide if you want to send a hundred messages a day, a week, a month, that's totally up to you and how fast you want to build your business. Yeah, no, that's so true. It really is. Like, like you said, we hear it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. It really, it really, really is. Um, it really, really is. It's, it's just a fact. So um, okay. If you don't mind, maybe I'm going to, I just typed out, I, I might've just butchered what you just said, but maybe if you can type some of that out in the chat, a couple people were asking. Um, okay. Sarah, I hope you're, I think you're still on. I'm going to unmute you. Okay. So you guys, Sarah is probably in most, probably everyone on this zoom. Sarah is your, Sarah is your offline. I'm just going to tell you right now. <laughs> Um, she has become a super, super close friend. Love her to death. She's an ambassador diamond. She's been, it works for like a hundred years. No, really. I think like almost no, seven really, years. like a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Sarah, give us like your 60 second story and then we're just going to listen to your amazing wisdom. Okay. So, um, just a little bit about me, you guys, I have been in for six and a half years um, which is crazy because I remember longevity was something I just like you, you will probably relate to this. I kept thinking like, Oh, this is so good. This is so good. at last, this is so good. And then I'm like, wait, like I have to stop doing that. And so just a little bit about me, you guys, um, I started this business, um, with just a pivot in life. And this is what you guys have to remember. People's lives are changing on the regular, like every three months. Okay. So um, I loved what I was doing. I was a charge nurse. I moved up super fast at the hospital and it, I didn't go for this business because I didn't love what I was doing. I went for this business cause I wanted to allocate my time elsewhere. Um, I had just become a mom and I had just gone back to work for like, I think I'd been in for a month and all of a sudden my girlfriend was talking or I saw her posting about this stuff. And anyways, Long story short, I wanted to use the products already. Whatever I was using was already going to commission qualify me. Um, I remember just being scared as can be. I hadn't tried anything, and I just said, you know what, screw it. Like, I have always been looking for a way to supplement my income. Every way that I've ever thought of requires me to be away from home, and it would require me to be clocking in somewhere, and that is not my goal right now. My goal is to be a mom and also be, um, you know, a successful businesswoman in whatever way that would be. And so for me, you guys like work, I've worked since I think it was actually legal to work. So I was like hustling at this little pizza shop when I was too young and because my dad owned the store next to it. And so that is just a part of me. And then the fact that I get to help people and do all that, this just kind of seemed like a no brainer and it was $99 and I'm like, well, I go and spend that at Target and not once has it ever changed my life. So um, I have been doing it since then. I have learned so, so much. I The growth that comes with it, the people that I have met, that within itself is so life-changing to me. And I just tell people that. I'm like, you just, I had the mindset when I started this. I think I was, like, I was skeptical, but I also embraced that. So, like, my expectations 
were not like, hey, I'm going to join and become a millionaire. Like my expectations were like, hey, if I break even, like I'm winning at this. If I am making an extra $500 by the end of a year, like I'm staying here. Like this is awesome. That's exactly what I was looking for. And so when I did that faster and I did that, like double that in my first month just in wrap cash, you guys, I was like, okay, like let's sit down and really talk about some goals and what I could fast track. And so um, that is what has just kept me here. And I, I just love, like I still to this day, you guys, when you sign that first team member, I think in the beginning, because we're on here and we're talking with newbies and just people just joining, I was so much more bold with other people's goals than I was my own. So if you are like, if you're kind of like that, cause you maybe just second guess your abilities, like go help other people. Because as soon as I had people joining, they were like, this is what 500 bucks means to me. I'm like, oh, we're doing that. And in the midst of doing that, then before I knew it, I was also doing it. So just kind of a little bit of my story. That's so awesome. Okay. So speaking of stories, um, tell us a little bit about what has changed in the last six months for you and what, you know, what stories have done. Yes. So, um, you guys, I'm really big on stories and this is kind of just what was like my aha moment. And I think as you become a business owner, you, you start watching for things. You start watching what's catching your eye. You start like Christina was saying, like, what are things that I like? You start asking yourself a lot more questions and self-reflecting and just seeing where do I go in my day and what would, what would bring other people to me? Um, and so I was kind of like Jannie, like I had Facebook. I didn't even have Instagram when I started this business. I probably posted once every three weeks, if that. So if that's you, just know like it's okay. People are going to like to see you more often. Um, but for me, you guys, I was realizing as my schedule changed again and with busy, busy kids and my husband chasing his dream over there and then we were mixing all these things in, um, time was just a short. And I was like, this, this has always been a non-negotiable for me, you guys, because I didn't join this business for it not to work for me. Like I joined this because I want this to work for me. I wanted it to. And guess what you guys with that mindset it has. And so it was funny. I was sitting there one day and you kind of always are, things are changing and you have to reinvent yourself. So how I built my business, my, you know, first year is not how I build my business now. Um, and so the thing is, I realized when I was going on Instagram, I was not even going to people's profiles. Like all I did was I, it was the top bubbles and it was the stories on there. And I went through that and I found people that I liked. And what was crazy is when you're on there and I would message them before, like I was already getting interaction back because when you message somebody on their stories, you're already in their inbox. And so all of a sudden I just had this light bulb moment and I'm like, what am I doing worrying about posts or about how much am I posting or all these things? And it was just like, all of a sudden a light bulb just went off and I'm like, okay, it is not about how many times I'm posting in a day. Like Jenny said, there's days you guys that I'm like, my life was a crap show. Like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to share today. I still haven't showered. It's day five. Like I, okay, let's figure this out, you know? Um, and so the thing is though, is I know I take pictures on a daily, whether I did this business or not, you guys, I would still take pictures. That is just who I am. That's what I love. Um, and the thing is, is I embrace chaos. And so 15 seconds, like when Christina was talking about lives, you guys, I've been in for six and a half years and I still sweat doing them. Do they freaking work? Yes. But I like literally wrote down her little 30 day challenge. Cause I'm like, okay, I just need to do that. But 15 seconds, I'm like, I can do 15 seconds, no matter what is happening. You guys, and like she said, like, sometimes I'm like doing dinners because for me, I'm always like, what the freak am I going to make for dinner? Cause dinner is on me. So I think of those things. Like she was talking about what can you do for your kids? What can you do for that? I'm like, I'm going to be the chick that people can go to and they can get some dinner ideas because I do have to cook. And so here I am, but I'll be like cooking and all some Brooks walks down and literally like the camera, he'll come on the camera and it's like blood down to his neck. And I'm like, so this is life with boys. We do bloody noses on a daily basis. And the thing is, you guys, is like, you are going to start having people in your inbox. And so when you go to message them or you see that they're following you, it is not a cold message. It is not awkward. Like it's not any of those things because you've already been interacting and you've already started building that rapport with people. So for me, you guys, everyone has 15 seconds in their day. Everybody can take five seconds to snap 
a little picture. You can even use filters on there. You can do whatever you want. And then I just doctor them up because I just, I, again, I ask myself, like, when I'm looking at these people's stories, what do I like about it? And you know what, you guys, I asked them, half of them are bloggers. They don't do um, a network marketing business. I don't, I don't care. Um, and so I just asked them, I'm like, Hey, what app did you use for this? Or how did you do this? Or, and you guys, people are willing to help, you know? And so a lot of the things that I have learned are not even from, you know, someone in this business or whatever, but you just have to be willing to ask. So I do stories on a daily basis. That's how I interact. It's how I grow my network. Um, it is where I let people see who I am, what our life looks like. Um, I show that we, I'm running kids to and from, we're in the car a lot. We are at, you know, sporting practices. We're at all these different things. And with all of that, it just relates to the network that I'm going for. Um, and so it's just been a huge game changer for me. And not to mention, like we talk a lot about working, um, smarter, not harder. And so I also found ways for me to like save my stories and archive them. So when I'm having a super busy day and I'm like, no, I, I do. I want to show them that I'm making my coffee in the morning because I do it every single morning. And I can easily go, you guys, if, if we're running behind, I can go on my archive while we're sitting there and I can go pull stories from, you know, two weeks ago when I had five seconds to actually make some cool stories with it. They don't know that. And so, and you'll see that with consistency, like every single person on here has said to you consistency, like showing up daily for your business. I do the same thing with my stories and you know, it started with maybe 50 people watching it. Now I have over 900 views on my stories, every single story, you guys. And so really what my stories do is they just give snapshots of my day every single day. And so some days I have a lot because maybe we're traveling or we're doing this or that. And other days, maybe not so much, but in the big scheme of things, like there's always something for people to be watching on there. That is so awesome. Okay. So if you have that many people viewing your story, I was going to ask you, do you message the people or did you ever message the people who view, like, let's say you do a poll and you don't have any votes or maybe you have two or three votes. Like, do you message some of the watchers or if you have that many watchers? I don't know. So, you know, I think what I do on there is, well, obviously I still add people. So every single day I'm adding people. So sometimes it will be from like, I might go to a blogger that I follow. Cause I'm like, okay, if they're following her and I'm interested in her stuff too, like we have a common interest together. So I might go to who they like and I'll go in and I'll follow people on there. Um, I also use the Captivate app, which I really seriously love. Um, I know there's so many other apps, but this is why I love Captivate. I can in like, literally you guys, I build my business in like five, 10 minute increments all the time. Okay. And yes, I do this full time now. So I'll get up in the morning and I specify time here and there, but really throughout the day, once I'm out of those like specified times that I have, I am building within those five minute increments. So like I can go and like load up my Captivate and I can put people in there. So like Christina was talking about numbers. I'm really big on giving examples for numbers as well. Um, and so like you guys, I'll put probably anywhere from like 250 to 300 in there. And then at night I click it and I put it into cloud queue and it literally runs all night long while I'm sleeping. So I'll wake up and I have like 75 new friends that are following my stuff. And you guys, they already have stuff to watch from the day before. And then now I'm going to be bringing in new content already. And since I'm one of their new people they're following, I should be like one of those first little bubbles that's popping up in their stories. Okay. So at least if they kind of start seeing some of those things, they're going to be like, who is this? And so when I go through to pick like interaction or who I'm going to be interacting with, I do, you guys, I go watch to see, like, I wonder if I can show you on here. I go and I watch to see who like my regular people are that are viewing my stories. And I make sure that I'm interacting back with them. So obviously they're coming to me. I want to see on the other end of it too. Like, is this somebody that I would love to ask to be on my team? Like they're watching my stuff. And you guys, I say that like when I message somebody, I'm like, Hey, I'm so glad we've connected on here. And I see that you've been watching my journey. You know, I'm a work at home mom. I do, I can make some ink or, you know, I just kind of say what I'm doing. And I just say, are you interested? Like, have you been wanting to ask questions about it? Or are you interested in some of the products? And you guys, they are like, I am so glad you reached out to me or yes, I am interested. Like I was wondering what you do. And you guys, I love that they say that because that to me is literally hands down telling me I am not spammy at all. And that's my goal. Like I want to be able to share, but I am not just going to 
like throw up, it works all over my page because yes, I'm a rap girl and it's freaking changed our lives and it's changed a lot of other people's lives, but I'm a lot of things outside of that too. And that's usually what they're going to relate to first. And then they build trust and then they're like, Hey, tell me about this. And so even in my messages, you guys, I'm just really honest and real. Like I am not trying to sound salesy in any way. Like I ask questions like Amanda was talking about, like, you know what, they may ask me about coffee and I ask them, are you a coffee drinker? How do you like your coffee? So I ask them questions. I don't just say like, hey, here's my info. Go to my website. I have it in Linktree. You can get it and it's 40% off. Like it's, I don't try to do that. I don't, I'm not looking for just the easy sell that like somebody shows up. I'm hoping like this person signs up as a customer or we get talking and I see that they want to, you know, they're interested in what I'm doing. They want to use the products and they want to do exactly what I did use it at discount, earn free product, and then join my team and make some extra income. And so you guys, I get into the back and forth conversation. Like I am not just like, I don't just sit down to work and be like, I hope to sign somebody in the next five minutes. And if I don't, I suck at this. Like, I'm like, no, I'm going to start like 25 conversations randomly here and there. And throughout the day, we're going to ping pong back and forth. And maybe in three days, I'll have five new customers. Like, it's, it's not instant. And that's what you just have to know. And then when you do get those instant ones, like the other day I posted and she's like, I just want the greens and this is what I'm going to do with it. And I was like, perfect. Like you do get some of those too. And there, I always tell people, I'm like, those are like your cherry on the top people. Like you love those people, you know, but that's not how this business works. So I use who's viewing my stuff. Like those, I will take select people and I make sure to go interact back with them. Um, if I like them, you guys, you can bet your butt. I'm going to ask them if they want to join me. Like I just, that's me. And if they're not my style, you guys, I unfollow them. Like I'm like, I'm on here. I'm doing business. If I feel like there's not something common there, like then I'm like, okay, you know, on to the next. And that's okay. Cause people can see maybe that I'm not their cup of tea and they can unfollow me too. Guess what? I'm still here. Like I still love my life. It's all good. So, um, that is just something I think you also have to remember too, is like, it's okay to be selective with those things. Um, and one question I just want to share with you, or one thing that I do all like on a regular basis is I say that, like if I'm talking to somebody and what they're ordering is already going to be like, could commission qualify them? Or if I see that I really like them, you guys, I do not wait to ask them to join my team. I just say, Hey, I want to ask you because if somebody wouldn't have asked me, I would have missed out probably on a really big opportunity. And I just say, are you interested in not only using the products at my cost, but earning free product and making some extra income and possibly some bonuses? That's what I say. And if they're like, yes, I'm like, okay, what's the best way to get you the info about this? Because I think you'd be amazing at what I do. That's all I say. So you guys, some people will say text. Um, some people want to have conversation on there. And I will start a little bit on Instagram because that's what they're comfortable with. But also like you get, you get cut off on your messages, which is why I also like Instagram. So if you're super lengthy and you're wordy and you're like, I word vomit, like Instagram would be really good for you because you can only write so much. And so I explain that after we get our conversation going, I just say, Hey, it's not going to let me like give or like the questions that you're asking. Like that's a lot of info. It's not going to let me do it on here. Do you mind if I text you? You know, or I, or I even say like, would you want to get on like a FaceTime? And I can even show you some of this stuff. Like if that would be easier for you to understand, you guys, people say yes, like they want to. And to be honest with you, like most people that I FaceTime and I can like show them the sheets of like the maps and the steps to success. They're like, I'm ready. They want to do it. So, um, I just, you guys, I ask. I do not rush through the conversation. I take my time with them. Um, I don't. And I feel like when people always say like, I don't want to be pushy, then don't like, be, like ask about them, like get your information while you're talking to them. And while you're also giving them the information they're looking for. So I always say, you guys, if you are looking for DTs, you have to be like putting that out to the universe because so many times people are like, I can't sign DTs. And I'm like, cause you're not talking about it and you're not posting about it. Like you're not posting about your little wins. So you're talking about all the products and you're sharing before and afters and those are all great. And that's why you're getting customers. So like, you just have to kind of self-reflect and be like, am I putting out what I want to come back into my business? Yeah. 
that's so that's so true because I think a lot of us hear that like oh I haven't signed a DT or I can't sign a DT and then well you don't tell your story and you don't tell anyone's story so I mean right how are you gonna sign a DT okay so one thing that I want to ask you your opinion on because this is something a lot of us hear I know I've heard it um, over the years um, when people join and they want to start up a separate page because they don't want to quote bug people or they they're to be honest, probably just nervous. So they mm -hmm. start a separate page um, and you've been in longer than any of us. So what is your opinion on that? And what have you seen um, with that? My opinion is don't do it. <laughs> like 110% do not do it. Um, here's the thing that I feel about all of that. Um, when people, like we are people sharing a product, just like a lot of other people do. However, we just have a very like well-defined path that we get to follow. It's not like here and there and whatever. And like you try are trying things. So here's the thing, you guys, I built to presidential diamond without Instagram, without like just Facebook. Um, and wh whatever my network was at that point, I, we didn't even know about host to post. We didn't have stories. Like we didn't have any of that stuff. Um, and then I did a business page after that. The only way that I ever got anybody to my business page is by paying for it. And even then, you guys, like the quality of the followers on that page was not what I was looking for in my business at all. Um, and so this is the thing. I think you just have to remember that people need to see you because no matter what it is, like I could have the worst product ever, but if I'm like funny and witty, like Christina, like you're they're they're liking Christina and they're gonna go buy from Christina. They're like, dude, I'm kind of skeptical and I think these wraps are a bunch of BS. But they're like, you're talking about them and you're funny and if you use them, then I wanna try it. Like that is what people are coming to do. If like Janny is sitting there talking about doing ice cream or like the other day, I talked, I'm also like Amanda, I talk about Friday bonuses all the time because honestly, still to this day, um, I'm obsessed with our weekly fast start bonuses. Like I love them. Like we just had a birthday party for Brooks and I'm like, also I get this Friday bonus and it covers all of it. You guys, I post about stuff like that because then I had other people that are like, I'm scraping by my kid's birthday is in blah, blah, blah. I'm like, let's earn you a freaking $1,000 bonus. Like seriously. And so, um, I, I just think you have to remember people want to see who you are, even outside it works, your product, your businesswoman, all those things. And so I always tell people like, if you don't know what to post, like start working on self-development. Like you, if you're reading, like here's a book right now I have, I have another one that's right over there. Like if you're reading, you will always have some. where is Sarah frozen for you guys am I frozen she's frozen for me anybody okay can somebody comment and let me know if Sarah's frozen or if it's just on my screen I literally work like during the day and when I'm momming like it is literally five minutes here and there and, and it works. And that's the thing. And that's why I'm so confident to share it with so many other people when they're like, I'm swarmed, like I'm dying when it comes to time. And I'm like, but you can still do this. And eventually like, you're going to stay busy, but eventually something's going to give. And all of a sudden you're going to gain this time. And that's exactly what I did. You guys, I worked full time, um, as a nurse, had babies, got married, we moved, like life happens. This business still happens alongside all of those things. But I kept the two as long as I absolutely could until like what I was doing this for, which was my kids, until I felt like I was spread a little too thin. Then I finally was like, okay, I'm going to do this full time now. But the thing is, you guys doing the two together and putting them, them together, it kept me in front of people. It kept me around people and growing my network. And it also allowed us to move ahead so much faster because we were never used to having this extra it works check. So we could be super intentional with it. And we were like knocking things out like crazy. And it was just exciting. Like that stuff is so motivating. Getting messages from your friends being like, oh my gosh, I just paid off a credit card. I'm like, heck yes. Now that you pay off the credit card and you don't have that payment anymore, like what are you going to do? Like what are we moving on to next? You know, like I get so excited for those types of things. So 
Um, I'm kind of off topic, I feel like, but I'm just telling you, I don't think you should. I, I got a business page at Presidential, um, and maybe it helped me sign a few here and there, but like I said, now that we have stories, we have host to post, we have so many more things to be able to share amongst that I just think it would be such a waste of your time and such a waste of money. And I think you would just get super frustrated because you're not going to see the results that in your mind you're like, yeah, this is a gold mine because it's not. And I think it just makes a lot more work for yourself. So figure out how to incorporate it, ask questions, figure out how to incorporate it on your actual personal page. Again, work smarter, not harder. That's like our main goal for everybody because time is precious. And, so, and it's so true. And some people, they just, they want to start a separate page in general because I think they're nervous about bothering whatever their friends and family. I'm like, well, then don't bother your friends and family. Like no one is telling you to start this and blow up and barf business stuff all over mm -hmm. your page all day long. And I still see people in the business a year, a year and a half or more. And if you, if you go to your page, do a bird's eye view and look at what your page looks like. If it's five, it works posts in a row, then you're, you need to reassess, you know? So that's not what I'm teaching anybody to do. That's not, I don't think what any of us, um, that have talked tonight are teaching anybody to do. So there's no reason for you to set up a separate page because essentially like if one or two posts is going to bother somebody, then who, who the heck cares in my opinion, but you're not going to go and blast your business and your buy this, buy this, buy this all over your page because we're teaching you how to not do that. So mm -hmm. if you start a brand new page, it's, it's going to be a daunting task to get people you know, who's going to view the page. There's nobody on it. It's brand new, you know? And then as far as starting a separate page and just calling it like so-and-so, um, you know, Sally, it works. Sally keto page. Like how, how are you going to add to that? Because nobody is going to accept your, um, friend request when it's a business account. Like they don't, like Sarah said, you just, you've got to weave your personal life, who you are, you weave the business through that. Um, I don't, I don't post, you know, um, it works branded, you know, Pinteresty looking stuff, anything off the global, it works global page, um, any of that stuff. And you haven't heard any of us talk about that we do that. We keep things very personal, live videos, stories, personal pictures. Um, being vague works so much better. If this was a training from two years ago, we did a lot more pictures of, you know, the product, like a selfie with an actual product. Now, like I don't do very much product posts at all. It's more about talking what, talking up the product without saying what it is and creating more curiosity and creating more like, what are you doing? You know? So that seems to work really well. But anyways, that's something that does get asked a lot. So, um, I wanted you to kind of touch on that because I've actually just had it just the last couple of times. And you guys, I never stop anybody. Like if they're like, I still want to do it. I'm like, you can, but just know, like I'm already foreseeing the frustration you're going to have. And when you do, I just don't want you to get like down on yourself yeah. because that's not you. It's just the approach that you're taking. And, and I'm like, and you know, and so I just explain it. Like I, I tell everybody, like, I am here to give you suggestions, but honestly, at the end of the day, this is your business, you know? And so I can only tell you like, if we're sharing things, it's because that's, what's working for us to enroll and to grow our business. It's not cause we're like, yep, just go do this randomly or, you know, whatever it is. And so, and that's the thing you guys, even with stories, like so many people are scared to like ask or like message people. And I'm like, then do polls. Like you have ways to interact, you know? And so I do polls, I do swipe ups. If I ever say like swipe up, you guys, A, you're not, it's not going to be a link. Like they're just going to do an actual like swipe up with their finger. It brings up a message box. And so even when I say swipe up, you guys, you literally have to tell them what to type because the person on the other end is like, okay, so I swiped up. Like now what? Like that's literally what they're thinking in their mind. So if you're like, Hey, swipe up, text this, they, that's what they do. And so like, if I accidentally go through a story fast and all of a sudden I'm like, I just put swipe up. 
and I didn't tell them, like, no one <laughs> swipes up. But if I say, like, type coffee or, you know, then all of a sudden I, like, I'll open up my messenger and it's, like, coffee, coffee. And I'm, like, oh, my God, people crack me up. But you, like, learn what people need, you know. And so, um, and so you guys, I do polls. I do, like, the little swiper thing. Like, I do all those things. So, bring, like, do call to action things. So that people like know what to do or like if they, if you're saying, um, you know, comment below or if somebody messages, like even when you're doing host a post, do not post all the information in the comment, like so that no one else that wants to go like get more info doesn't have to come to you, like make people come to you. So instead just say, Hey, I'll message you info. Cause the next person's like, Holy crap. There's like eight people who've asked for more info and none of us still know the info. So then they're like, well, I'm going to ask for more info too, you know? And so Again, like the, like Christina, I think said it like create curiosity. Like, do not give all the information right out there. You know, if I have a cup of coffee, like that is something that I just I don't even veer from. I have it every single morning, so I post about it. And you know what? I've had people that said, Sarah, I'm a coffee drinker. Like, I saw your approach for this. I know I could do that. And I'm like, well, I'm just telling you, if you can sell the coffee, you're gonna sell the coffee and keto and the greens with it. I'm like, then you can do this business. Like. It's part of almost every single order that I have because it's something that I share every single day and it's something that I use. And so, and like I said, you guys, I just really ask questions. Like I'm not trying to be a robot. Like I want to know about that person. And if it's a customer in my mind, I'm like, that's a potential distributor. Like that's the potential teammate that is going to fall in love with our products. And at this point when they're joining, like we're not starting from square one. Like I've already asked a ton of questions about her and I know a lot about her, you know? So, um, I, I know we are such instant gratification people, but I just want you to know, like consistency showing up every single day is just seriously where it's at. And that was something I promised myself. Like I didn't know what that one thing was going to be every day, but I told myself like, I will do one thing for my business every single day. And you guys, that within a year got me to double diamond. Like that's crazy. And my goal was 500 bucks a month. <laughs> So I'm like, you know what, like that is, I mean, it's just, it's so funny. And I just really pray for you guys to always keep perspective. Like even if it's a $70 check, it is $70 that you didn't have if you weren't doing this. And you know what? You have everything within you to say, I'm going to turn that 70 into 300. Like no one's stopping you. No one's saying it's not in our budget. Like you get to go out and just do it. And I'm like, that's incredible. You guys, like I worked my way up. And I was told at 29, like, you, you reach the max. I'm like, uh, no one told me that in nursing school. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. And so it was just, I mean, like I said, this just fell into my lap at such a perfect time. But anyways, did that kind of go over stories, Jamie, how you wanted it? Yes. And I love, okay. so same thing, you guys, for stories. Like, I follow, you know, Sarah and several other people and people in other companies just to get ideas. Um, and then I also ask questions. Like Sarah said, she asked questions. I only, it's easier for me because I just asked Sarah the questions. I'm like, how did you do this? How did you do that? Um, and then make it your own and get, you know, you'll get better and better stories for me two months ago were so foreign and I sucked at them just like live videos. The first time I did live videos, you guys, I was like so nervous. I was picking my cuticles, like completely like, like picking them under the table. I'm not even kidding. I was terrified stories. I totally stunk at them. And now I not like amazing, but I'm getting better and getting more consistent and learning, you know, how to like crop them and make them cuter and whatever different things you can do. So just take initiative and get out there. Same with social media. Like there are going to be trainings on YouTube. You can learn things. You can, um, pick up on tips. Like when, when you're posting and you post something great, if it's getting really good interaction and consistent comments and more and more like hits on that post, like don't bury it. Don't put up a new post, let it ride out a little bit. Um, some people put up a great post and they put up another post 15 minutes later and another post 20 minutes later. You are competing with yourself in the algorithm. You're competing with yourself in the newsfeed. Facebook is only going to share your post, um, you know, in other people's feeds, they're not going to share when you post four in an hour. Like there's, you know, I see a lot of that, that you're hurting yourself there. So things like that, there are detailed, um, trainings, different things you can learn, but in a nutshell, you want to be consistent. You want to be classy. You want to be yourself. 
You do not want to vent or be negative. Like that's something we didn't really cover because it kind of goes without saying, but I want to touch base on it really, really quickly. Um, you don't want your page to be a source of negativity, even if it's news stories that are negative or um, controversial stuff or nobody wants to see that. You guys, just nobody does. You want your page to be inspirational, uplifting, funny, motivational, real. It doesn't mean that you have to be this like lollipop ray of sunshine all the time, but don't be a negative. Don't be Debbie Downer. Don't um, you just take, like I said earlier, take a bird's eye view and take a look at your page from an outside perspective. Give it the 10 second scroll and see what do people see when they look at my page? What are they going to see? Because if you're adding to your network and if you're utilizing the tips that we've shared and your last page is like some raunchy, whatever, whatever, like you can't ask, you can't really add to your network unless, you know, so anyway, that's something I just wanted to touch on really, really quickly since we're recording this and there's a lot of people that are going to need to probably. You know what else, Jenny? It's like, I always have to remind people too, like sometimes people were already really in the habit of like sharing, like they, they're just sharing posts from like maybe pages they follow and it's all like these shared posts. You guys, like your information that you really want people to see, like they're not going to see it. So if you have something or like, you know, okay, I like for... For instance, I follow like Rachel Hollis or maybe I have this recipe and I like go and I do and I want to make the recipe instead of just sharing it from their page. You guys just take the extra two minutes that it takes to take your own picture of your food and then you can even put the recipe in the comments. Like again, like Christina said, provide them something, you know, even outside your business, like provide them something. If it is an awesome quote, hurry up, go put in word swag and like use the wording and just post it. Like instead of just sharing it, like make it look nice, you know, and it doesn't take that long to do it, but yet it makes like such a big difference. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, Jenny, just cause we are talking social media. It's nice you guys too, that if you do have both platforms like Facebook and, um, I say both cause I don't really have Snapchat. Some of you guys probably rock on Snapchat. I am like old school. I'm like, this works for me right now. This is where I'm at. So, but the thing is, is I'm mostly Instagram. And so it is funny because I have a lot. I can see that my Facebook people or my Instagram friends who are on Facebook, they must get re like suggestions to follow me on Facebook. So I'll, I'll, you guys, I do the same thing. Like there'll be new people that I followed on Instagram and it will suggest on Facebook. I add them because Facebook might be something that they use more. And so they can still see my stuff. So whenever you're doing those things, see if you can have them on both because it actually makes a really big difference. And I know that um, I've even heard that from some other leaders that I even just have gotten tips from. And they're like, it just, it just almost like solidifies like what you're doing, who you are and builds that trust amongst your network. Yeah, that's a good, that's good. That's awesome. All right. Well, I think we got a lot of good info and we went long. I knew we would because we had a lot of good information to cover and a lot of amazing um, leaders on here. And unless anybody has anything to add, I think we're going to hopefully you guys got some good notes, some good um, feedback. I'll probably end this and think of like four things that I forgot to say, but um, the, the number one apps, if we, if we did put it in the chat, but since we're recording, um, pick tap go word swag. It's I think five bucks. It's probably the best five bucks most of us have ever spent. Um, so pick tap go word swag for stories. We got um, what do we same thing? Pick tap go and word swag. Um, cut story that will cut your videos into fifteen second increments so they will fit perfectly into stories on Instagram. Um, Pix art p i c s art uh, what, what's the other one? Unfold. 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 Unfold is like another picture one. Um, I use Captivate for following and unfollowing. That's the one that does it kind of at night. Again, I think you have to pay to upgrade to cloud. Okay. Um, you have to pay like three bucks. That's $3 <laughs> of my life. Yeah. So those are just some apps, you guys. Um, but just keep, keep learning. It keeps changing. This is so different. It's a, Stuff we're saying now is so different from two years ago other than 
um, keeping things positive, keeping things bright, being yourself, creating your own brand, being positive, all that stuff is not going to change. I don't care what happens with the algorithm. Those things are fundamental. They will not change. Um, staying consistent. That is a fundamental in this business, but there are little fun things that do change here and there. So we wanted to do an updated training to just get that out there. So thank you all so much for being a part of this. Amanda, Christina, Sarah, Karen. Um, I appreciate you guys so, so much. We have such an awesome team. And as soon as I get um, this training downloaded, I will get it on YouTube and I will post it so that everybody can use it in the future. So, all right, you guys, thank you. Thank you.